inventory management, product traceability, and so on. On the other hand, uh, APM will carry out the predictive and optimization application. So imagine that your plant model has been used for years, but you're not sure when to carry out the maintenance work, considering your cost and also the time. So in this case, Aviva APM will analyze, predict, and provide you the extremely reliable information what is the best time for you to carry out maintenance to extend your shelf life of your motto and also to optimize your company profit in the long run. In a nutshell, CTI is a professional consultant to empower your company in this era of Industry 4.0 and also digital transformation. Now, uh, allow me to introduce our speaker of the day. He's a certified trainer by Aviva, specialized in Cytex Gata, historian and system platform. Over 11 years, she has been providing excellent technical support in automation and SCADA system. In, 20, uh, in 2018, she became a certified trainer. She has since been providing support and training to help the customer and system integrators to implement the best possible solution. Without further ado, let's welcome Ms. Li Mui Fong. Okay, let me share my screen first. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Hi, and welcome to this new release highlights for Aveva Plant Scada 2020 R2. Plant Scada. 2020 R2 is a release that's built on the foundations of Cytex Gardas to help make our customers' information accessible anyway. The key themes of this release includes integrations of Aveva industrial graphics to support native HTML5 browsing via web or mobile devices. It is completing, complementing existing native graphics for desktop clients. These industrial graphics are natively compatible with HTML5 browsers, allowing customers to access screens directly on their tablets and mobile devices. Enhanced connectivity with support for both IPv6 network addressing and native OPC UA server capabilities. OPC UA server provides native access to plant SCADA data from third-party system, offering data access functionalities for now, to be expanded to include history and alarm and conditions in future release. IPv6 address are supported everywhere you configure IPv4 networking throughout the system today. Across servers, client, and compatible protocol driver, including validation check on to match to ensure you got the formatting right. And finally, a string of security and usability enhancements, expanding on our Studio IDE to show graphics reference for libraries object, how many times and where they are used throughout your project. Some graphic builders improvements and a range of security features to improve our customers' defense against threat. Looking across the security improvement, this falls into one of two main categories. First one is in simplifies how Plan SCADA is implemented between your customers, business network, and environment. And second is enhance our internal securities between plants, SCADA components, and or our interface. We have integrated industrial graphics right into the core of the user experience, rather than mix it an add-on that does not quite feel like it's fit. And that includes full support for graphic browsing, filtering and searching between the Plant SCADA Studio IDE. When Open Industrial Graphics launched directly 
between the new graphic editors, which itself provides enhanced editing capabilities over and above what is possible between the native graphics builder, including scaling of the canvas as shown here. This is the same graphics editors that is embedded between InTouch system platform and Aveva Edge. Ensuring an increasing common portfolio user experience for our shared customer. To view industrial graphics, simply points your browsers to the industrial graphics server, log in, and you are in business. The example SA projects has been expanded to include a number of sample industrial graphic page to explain new concepts demonstrates the capabilities of these new graphics and to provide a graphics libraries that customer and SI partner can be used to get started from day one. In summary, this interval release of Plant SCADA 2020 are to signify the transitions from the heritage SciTech brand. Kins force everything the Aveba brands to remind our customer that we are part of something much richer and can provide far expanded capabilities than the SciTech. They might be used to from 2010. This release also includes industrial graphics for native HTML5 graphics, native OPC UA server, and IPv6 networking support, and HAN usabilities with integration graphics usage and reference, and a focus on security to provide our customer with increased peace of mind in today's connected world. Finally, I wanted to take a moment to reinforce our upgrade strategy for assisting SciTech SCADA customer. Desperate the rebrand's plan SCADA is still SciTech to the core, and we stand by our upgrading philosophy to bring assisting customer to the latest version, either direct online upgrade or offline upgrade based on their preference. That is all for the new release highlights for Aveva Plant SCADA 2020 R2. Next, I will continue with technical overview for the connectivity and security and also industry graphics. Let me change my screen. Okay. Let's we really look at connectivity and security. What are the recommended topologies? How is work? Industrial graphics and deployments, OPC UA, and security enhancement. How do these features fit into your existing system? There are new features available in Industrial Graphics Server, short form AIG, and OPC US Server. In existing system contain a pair of redundant server which containing I.O., alarm, trend, and reports, a number of display clients, and an engineering workstation which also runs the deployment server. During the installations, there is a new installation options for Aveva Industrial Graphics Server and OPC UA Server as in the diagram. This do not need to be configured as part of project's configurations. It can be installed onto any computers in your system. Below shows the recommended topology for Industrial Graphics Server and OPC UA Server. For most application, industrial graphics server should be installed on a separate computer. 
for small applications, it can run on an existing computers on your system. OPC US servers can be installed onto an existing computer. For small applications, it can run this on the same computer as the AIG server. How is work as in the diagram? There is a new connectivity service that provides data to the AIG server. It can be configured as an OPC US server as well. It uses the same communications technology as a display client and not CT API. The communications are encrypted. The project file for OPC UA or AIG server push from the deployment server. You know is the workflows to configure AIG. First, configure your server. Connect the computers to the system management server. Configure the deployment client. Configure the industrial graphics server. Second, configure your project. Create your industrial graphics. Configure navigations. Compile the projects. Third, upload and deploy the projects. Upload the projects to the deployment server. Deploy the projects to the AIG server. Four, project update successfully. Notifications of the new versions will be displayed on the AIG page. OPC UA clients will need to be restarted if server IP address changes. This demo shows how to deploy the project. After deployed, open AIG pages in browser. The example SA will look like this in browser. Let's try go to the virtualization page tab. Open the page that wanted to edit. It will open graphic editor. Just add versions two wordings on the page. After save the page, compile the projects. And move to deployments to add new version. Then redeploys to projects version two. After deployed, to refresh the browser. The page will get latest page with versions to wording. There is a notification here to notify users about the administrators has updated the new versions of applications.
For OPC US server, configurations via the configurators like port numbers, encryption settings, and authentication setting to disable or enable anonymous user. The OPC UA client support browsing the equipment hierarchy and flat tags. Most tag properties written as attributes. At the moment, OPC UA support data access only. OPC UA alarms and conditions will be supported in future. This is samples of OPC UA clients. The security enhancements let users group now able to restrict access to configurations file or runtime, including those on deployment server or client, as well as access to the plan SCADA configuration tools, user data, log config file, config folders restricted by default. This is easiest to configure, just configure in security role, configurator plugins, and no reliance on hard codes group names. It's allowed you to grant access to your own domains or local group. Next, we have a glance at industrial graphics. How to use industrial graphics and the key features of the industrial graphics. Using industrial graphics, start builds and test locally with Lanskada Studio and your web browser. Step one, create symbols or use of the box symbol. Industrial graphics symbols are created in the library sections of the virtualization activities. Like standards graphics, industrial graphics symbols live in library. Engineers can create their own as I am demonstrating here, or use any of the ones provided with the product. All of these symbols are provided in the industrial graphics library. There is ISA symbols, chartings and dashboard, step two, create page and embedded symbols onto them. Like symbols, the page are also created in the virtualization activities. There are separate view for the standards and industrial graphics page. Pages by default have a fixed resolution. Through this, can be changed in the editors. Use graphic editors to embed few graphics on the canvas and use connectors to connect them as I am demonstrating here. Step three, create a manual structure. 
Industrial graphics are navigated in the browser using a manual structure. The manual is created in the manual configuration sections of the virtualization activity. This is a while see why editors make it easiest to create a flat or hierarchy manual. As you build your manuals, you then assign a page to display for each manual entry. The page you select shows up in the right hand side. The manual editors allow you to reorganize manual, changing the orders and grouping. Step four, compile and run the projects. Step five, view in browser. Once done, the project is then compiled and then run up. The run commands tells the web server which projects to source content from. When connecting to your local servers, you will need to log in. Once permissions is granted, the web clients will allow you to navigate your page without plant SCADA IO server running. However, if you want to see them animate, then you will need your IO server running. Let's explore the key features of Aweba Industrial Graphics. A look at the Industrial Graphics Editors, Style, Property System, Graphical capability, symbol wizards, and scripting. The editor support property script, elements hierarchy, in place group editing, vector zooming, format painters, and statics rotations. On the right hand side, we have the property grips. All static properties can be configured well the property grid. If multiple objects are selected, the property grids will be reflects common properties that you can change in bug. On the left hand side, you have the element browser. Here you can select and expand groups of objects and view or change the order. The editor also allows you to add this group without breaking them apart. Vector zoomings in the editors allow you to get up, close, and position objects more precisely. Another great tool is the format painter. First, let's customize these buttons. Now, let's apply the same change to the other buttons using the format painter. Lastly, all the basic primitive can statically rotate using the rotations handle on the selections ordinal. The style apply consistent rules to your graphics. Style allows engineers to define the standards for the virtualization of the SCADA system. For example, the colors and size of the text and the thickness and colors of the lines of symbol. Consider a display that consists of static agitators, labels, and a process value. By utilizing the elements, style, properties of each Primitive, we can set the line, 
view and text options of this primitive in one click and manage them centrally from Plant Scada Studio. Commonly, different companies will have different standards for what colors they want to use. This makes it difficult to create common library. Style helps eliminate that problem. Take this example out of the box. The Aveva symbol use a gray color screen. Let's quickly change that to a green screen using our copy style features. The style consists of qualities which applies to status indicators and graphical primitive. Configurations of the style is done via the standards activities in Plant Scada Studio. From here, engineers can adjust the quality, elements, and format style for their system. Let's take a look at quality style. Quality style allow engineers to control the presentations of the status indicator, value, and others primitive which are bound to text or equipment's reference. Quality style overrides the current configurations of the primitive. So even though you might be using black for your text value, you can mix them change to purple if they are of bad quality. Here I just have done just that. In the client, you can see the effect. The style consists of elements which applies to graphical primitive. This applies to graphical primitive and are a collection of view, lines, and fonts property. As we just saw, each element has a element style property which can be overwritten. There are numbers of predefined out-of-the-box style which cover many common engineering requirements, including situation awareness that you can apply to your elements to create that consistency across page and symbol. The style consists of format style which applies to number. Format style allows you to set the standards for how different type of numbers will be displayed. If your format is real base, you have the facilities of controlling the precision at numeric's boundary. Format style applies to text primitive that have the value display animations configured. At runtime, we can see the precision effect being applied to different size number. Add your own customized style. If engineer cannot find a built-in styles for their needs, they also can create their own elements, qualities, and format style. This can be uniquely names and configures to your project's specification. Let's give us our new custom element style a try on our agitator. Please note that changes to the style are only reflected after you restart the graphics editor. Switch an element style at runtime. Lastly, style on a primitive can be switched dynamically at runtime using the element style animations. 
here we have our blower, which will be dynamically switched between non-automates, active and passive elements style based on the values of the state reference. The truth tables configurations allow us to set each style against a value of state. In the web clients, we can see the style change dynamically as we manipulate the state variable with our buttons. Symbol widgets are a similar concept to Plants Gada Composites Genie. Allow engineers to build symbols with configurable and flexible features or options. We see why when embedded and configured efficiency, runtime loads. All the default chart symbols are symbol wizards. For a demo, let's unpack the radius gauge charts, which is a part of our industrial graphics library. The first thing we need to do is enable the symbol wizards panels in the editors. This panel has two tabs, options and layer. The options defines the features of our symbol examples, how it looks, or whether we want the engineering units display or not. The layer tabs represents the virtual and behavior effects of one or more options. Here we can see the contents of the three quarters presentations options. It consists of a graphical group of elements and some script to control it. The show units and the show units full layers shows how complex rules can be formed between options to create different permutations. Once embedded engineers can be utilized these options to get a wall C wall radius gauge on their page. The custom properties of the symbols allows the bindings to your system I.O. data. The graphic capabilities. Similar animations to standard plants got graphics. Connectors between objects. Line ending. UI control two or three points gradients fail, string substitutions, owning objects, line and dualizing, run slings. Back to the various movement, scale, View. View state animations. Blinking. Rotations. Up angle. Connectors. You can move around without breaks. The objects. Line endings and size.
UI control can use to create interactive reads only display. Two or three points gradients fill. String substitutions allow you to substitute the default value of the strings with your own value. This allows you to change the text between and embed the symbols instance on your page. Owning objects allows you to set up classes or equipment reference from which you can use relative referencing using the ME syntax. Here, our TS01 temperature sensor is combined with me.pvs to resolve the equipment reference in PlantScada. If anti-aliasing lines are no longer judges, no matter how much you zoom in, You can now make objects transcend to create interesting effect. The property system, industrial graphics does not use percentage genie syntax percentage. Custom properties are defined upfront. Types have a default value, have a description defined as private or public, can be overridden at each nesting level, can be locked at each nesting level. So let's take a look at them and how they are used. Firstly, public properties are visible only once the symbols is embedded into another symbols or page. Private properties remain invisible once embedded, meaning they cannot be seen or changed externally. The typing of the properties make it much clearer what the expected data should be. Custom properties can be used between expressions or script. Scripting, new scripting language, autocomplete, allow access to a portion of .NET API. The scripting language of industrial graphics is called QuickScript.NET. It has a VB.NET like syntax that is easiest to learn. Engineers can utilize some of the .NET APIs in their script to perform custom behavior. That is a support auto completes to help you to find and fill your script and expressions. Script is running on the industrial graphics server itself rather than the client. It can be executed at page scope or animation scope. Next, 
What are the limitations for industrial graphics in plant SCADA 2020R2? It is read only, no alarm or trend support, but you can instant trends and view IO data from Aviva historian. No access to the cycle scripting or programming. No tag array supported. That is all from my presentations. I will pass back to Jeremy. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Mui Fong, for the sharing. So as we all learn from uh, Mui Fong sharings, uh, in this latest version of uh, Aviva Panskada, uh, Aviva has put in the effort uh, to sub uh, by providing the native HTML5 browsing via web or mobile devices. So providing one free web client and allowing customer to access the screen uh, directly on their mobile devices. Besides, Aviva also enhanced the connectivity with support for native OPC US server capabilities and also the IPv6 network addressing. Uh, and finally, the string of security and usability enhancement are included in this latest version to improve our customers' defense against any potential threats. So with that, uh, we'll go ahead and take some time for Q&A. Uh, just feel free to type in the chat box and let, let us know okay, how we could help you. And uh, actually, I can see uh, Ylip has a few questions. So uh, Mui Fong from Ylip, uh, he, he asked, does the firewall can be implemented in between AIG server and deployment server? And also, does web client license uh, uh, require? Okay, for the first questions, can but seldom people do this because connections between AIG and server is in local network. For the second questions, its site tax runtime servers already includes one read only web client license. If you need more than one, then only way is go for subscriptions. Okay, uh, thank you, Mui Fong. So, uh, is there any more question? Okay, uh, so from uh, Elcom. Uh, so the web client require IIS install. No, because we are using HTML5. ISS more to the IE. So because we are using HTML5, so the IS is not really required that. Okay, uh, thank you, Mui Fong. And also, uh, I hope this answers your question. Uh, let me go through some of the other questions. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Mui Fong Wiley also asked, uh, can you elaborate more on the licensing uh, when required more than one web accessing? It is a licensing when requires more than one web client, then one user, you need one web client. Is this, I answer your questions, Wiley? And about the welcomes asking, uh, I mean, is the so, uh, yes, the server is not requires IIS. IIS is for in the Net Explorer, okay? Because this web client actually is for HTML5. 
So if I need file user access, I need file client license. Yes, you are right. Okay, any more question? If not, then I will bring up some of the most uh, frequently asked questions. Okay, uh, uh, another one from uh, Aludin. So uh, I Aludin asks, where can I download the software? And also, any man know how to use the setting? Okay, about your questions where I can download. So you can go to the Aweba websites to register and you can download from this. Or you can ask from our sales teams to help use and we will provide for you the link. And besides that, the any menus, how to use the setting, what kind of settings that you want to mention it? Can you make it clear? Um, about the... Welcome. So the AIG server is not built on the top of IIS. Nope. Because this is the HTML5. IIS is, is uh, old methods, which is for Internet Explorer. Okay, maybe I bring up some of the most common asked question. So, uh, Muifeng, for this latest, uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, let Wylip uh, question first. Uh, Wylip asks, may I know, is there any changes in licensing offer for uh, Viva Plants Garda? Uh, about the changes in licensing, uh, Muifeng. Um, no, there is no changes, but it just add on for these web clients. So if you want to ask him about offer, I'm not sure, so you have to ask my sales team. Okay, Elkham Ironing is asking for the basic settings for the run the program. Is it you mentioned is uh, industrial graphics or the common side text plus gata? Okay, so Saifu is asking some questions. May I know these softwares can use for Windows 11 or just on use Windows 10? Yes, this is the one of our questions for commonly will ask. No, at the moment. The development teams is still working hard on it. It will release in a new release. So stay tuned for the new release. So, because this. Oh, something like that. I think for the outcome about the downloads, maybe we can, after the sections, you can contact our sales or me, or you can raise the tickets. We will get help from it. From it. Okay. This is the command only. The... Is AIG going to replace current Cytex Gata graphics? No, they will both run together. Just because Because Aveva Industrial Graphics is a common graphics technology used across Aveva SCADA, HMI, and cloud solutions. 
So you can create HTML5 screens and dashboards in the plans data and access them in the desktop browsers and mobile devices. So both is uh, two different things. So any more questions? Okay, about the AIGs and OPC UAs will come in as one package in Aveva Plans Gada or separate purchase. It is free, you can use it. Both. Okay, next question is. Aviva Industrial Graphics and Industrial Standards. Is this for Aviva Standards? We can combine with you can share the industrial graphic between all the Aviva products like Aviva H system platforms and others which is using the industrial graphics. Previous Cytex SCADA web client is built on top of IIS ActiveX, so now the EIG no need to install IIS, just plus SCADA no need additional IIS. Yes, you are right. This is what I mentioned earlier. Uh, the next question will be, do we need to purchase Aviva Industrial Graphics Editors? Nope, they already come together, so you can build, but you need a license to run. So for your information, Aviva Industrial Graphics will be one free license. If you need an extra license, then you have to purchase it. AIG graphics display value in mobile. Yes, because it's especially for the tablet and mobile. Of course, you can choose another solution, which is the Cytec Anyway. So AIG is one of the options, and Cytec Anyway also is the option which is you can review in the mobile or tablet. Okay, any more questions? Since it seems like oh another one from Elcom. So it will auto adjust to fix the view port. But I, yes, because it's based on the resolutions. I think maybe okay. This will be another question. Do you going to provide trainings for the news gather? Yes, we will plan for it. The next question, so now it is just view only, right? 
any plants futures can control. Yes, of course, he will launch in the new release. So don't worry about that. I think Jeremy, we can wrap up and close today's sections. So far, any questions? If no, we just wrap up and close today's sections. It is OK. Any things you can always find us to have a yeah. chat. Yes, uh, because due to time constraint, okay, so we have to move on. So for those of you uh, who want to know more, okay, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, through our email and also don't forget to follow our social media as well. So uh, in summary, uh, this latest release, uh, so it highlights on the uh, HTML5 graphic and also the OPC UA server and IPv6 network and uh, support. Uh. And last but not least, also the focus on security to give you uh, the peace of mind in this uh, connected industry 4.0. Okay, uh, with that, uh, that's all we have got for you here today. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we will see you again next time. Okay, thank you. <laughs>